Here's an update on my antique Victorian era cast iron aquarium. I posted a video nearly five years ago on its restoration. You can find a link to that video in the information box below this video. It gives some background on Victorian Aquaria and how I restored this one. Five years after the last restoration, there have been no leaks and there is no rust on the internal cast iron surfaces. This tank requires very little maintenance. It has no filter and flow is provided by two small pumps, one of which powers a surface skimmer. About one third of the water volume is replaced weekly with rainwater. Aquatic plants are trimmed as they grow and coated fertilizer pellets are inserted into the plant root bed about every six months. The fishes you saw in the first video lived to old age, and I've since replaced them. In this iteration, I increased the number of fishes, did not replace the discus, and instead added a total of eight bettas, four males and four females. Keeping multiple bettas together in the same tank is generally not recommended, but it has worked well in this tank. I think there are two reasons for this. First, the constant interactions among the fishes keep any two fishes from fighting, with the angel fishes interrupting any sustained territorial display by other fishes. Second, this tank has the form of a ring with many places to hide, allowing fishes to get away from each other. These bettas are highly interactive and seem a lot happier than the ones you see in individual containers. They frequently display at each other, but fighting is rare and brief. I have yet to observe nest building or egg laying by the bettas, but the angelfish they breed all the time. Yes, there are a lot of fish in this tank, but it seems to work well. I feed them twice a day and disperse the food across the whole tank so everyone eats. Keeping multiple bettas in the same tank may not work for others, but it has been working very well in this aquarium. 